Brand new poll this morning shows Mitt Romney gaining ground in Florida's presidential primary. Romney leads Newt Gingrich by nine points among likely Republican voters. That follows a solid performance by Romney in last night's debate. We discovered to our shock, Governor Romney owns uh, shares of both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Have you checked your own investments? You also have investments through mutual funds that also invest in Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. The bigger issue here is these two gentlemen who are out distracting from the most important issues we have by playing petty personal politics. I do not want to be the country that, having gotten to the moon first, turned around and said, it doesn't really matter, let the Chinese dominate space. I'd say you're fired. I'm willing to challenge any of these gentlemen up here to a 25-mile bike ride any time of the day <laughs> in the heat of Texas. You know, there are laws against AIDS discrimination. Mr. Speaker, I'm not anti-immigrant. My father was born in Mexico. My wife's father was born in Wales. The idea that I'm anti-immigrant is repulsive. Those are not the clear contrasts we need if we're going to defeat Barack Obama. How about if the four of us agree for the rest of the evening, we'll I, actually talk about Mr. issues Speaker, related to Mr. governing Sp America. Political correspondent Jan Krupp is with us again from Miami. We also have Chief White House Correspondent Nora O'Donnell, who's in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jan, let me go first to you. Uh, what's happened to Mitt Romney after having a couple of bad weeks, at least? Uh, he now seems to be more aggressive, more pointed, more precise, uh, and, and on the move, as these polls may we indicate. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm like, I've just got to say, we have seen such a different Mitt Romney this week in the debates and on the stump on the campaign trail. And I think there are two reasons for that. Number one, he got whooped in South Carolina, and he knows he's got to perform. This state is critical. If Newt Gingrich wins here, it is a whole new ball game. So he's really got to get down to business and win this thing. And number two, Charlie, he has a new debate coach. This guy came in over the weekend. He's considered one of the best in the business, Brett O'Donnell. He's been working with Governor Romney, and you see a crisper, sharper, more authoritative Romney answering those questions, not backing down when Gingrich tries to land a punch. It's made a big difference in how he's communicated his message. Yeah, Jen, we can no longer say the debates don't matter. People are saying 19 and counting. How many more? But they certainly have made a difference. Oh, that is absolutely right, Gail, and especially for Newt Gingrich. Think back to South Carolina. Romney had won New Hampshire. Gingrich had come in at the bottom there. You had two debates there where he took on the uh, moderators, where he blasted the media as being biased, where he went after Barack Obama, and people loved it. it saw, we saw Gingrich skyrocket to the top and crush Romney in South Carolina. His campaign has really been fueled by these debates. But this week, it's been a different new Gingrich, a different Mitt Romney. These debates have not given Gingrich this opportunity to really take on Romney and show the voters that he alone is the best candidate to take on Barack Obama. That just hasn't come through yet this week. Erica. Jan, Jan, though, it actually looked like a different Newt Gingrich last night. He looked tired. He missed some opportunities. There's been a lot of talk about people like Bob Dole, Tom DeLay coming out saying he's not the guy. Could he actually be listening to some of that? Could that be affecting him? You know, that's a great question, and I would say probably not. I mean, Newt Gingrich is a warrior, and so when he sees these guys coming out against him, that's going to make him more determined to stay in this thing and win this thing. And out on the campaign trail talking to voters, he is feisty in your face. He's not backing down at all. So when you got in these debates where he really almost did seem to pull his punches a little, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to understand. I mean, I think a lot of it was that Romney was not backing down. So, you know, you really had this back and forth, and Gingrich lands a punch and it doesn't knock Romney down. He pops right back up. Nora. So I think that was a big difference. But we also saw uh, Gingrich trying to get back in this thing and try to go after Wolf Blisser last night, and Blisser wouldn't allow it. Uh, Nora, it is said that in Chicago, where they are running the Obama campaign, uh, that they're so giddy that they want to run naked in Millennium Park. <laughs> That's a visual. <laughs> That's a visual. Yeah. I think Roger Simon said that. They don't, don't want to interfere. <laughs> Yeah, they don't want to interfere with these debates. They think the more the American people watch these debates, they get a better understanding of their opponents, uh, the Republicans. This president is trying to stay above the fray at this point. We're on the final stop of a five-state, three-day tour. It's an official tour where he's talking about certainly education today, yesterday, energy the day before, manufacturing, all part of those things he talked about in the State of the Union address. But certainly politics is incredibly important. The states that we've been to on this trip are all important swing states, and I think it should be noted 
We were in Arizona and Nevada yesterday. Those are part of the president's western map toward victory, and that's why the issue of immigration came up. Nora, I heard the president say yesterday that he doesn't watch the debates, but somebody in the White House is clearly watching. Do you think they're pulling for one candidate over the other, or do you think it doesn't matter to them? Well, they say publicly yeah. that they all have pretty much the same record and that they'll run against the extreme record of these Republicans. But I think that they're betting that Mitt Romney becomes the Republican nominee. That's where they've trained their fire. Yesterday, the Democrats pounced when they learned that Republican Mitt Romney had to amend his financial forms to include almost two dozen new things about overseas investments, including Swiss bank accounts. So they think that's one issue where they can continue to hit Mitt Romney as out of touch with someone who's not like regular Americans who has money in overseas accounts. You heard Mitt Romney say, look, these are trivial sort of amendments. But the Democrats said this just shows Mitt Romney needs to come clean and release more than just two years of his tax returns. Nora O'Donnell, Jan Crawford, thank you both.